So let us now practice this pattern one, this time with a refute problem. So this problem uh, asks us to find the first repeated letter in a string. But let us read the doc string carefully as well as the doc test. So it says we want the lowercase version of the first letter that appears more than once in this string. So the first repeated letter, there may be many repeated letters, we want the first one and we want the lowercase version of that letter. So the repeated letter may appear as an uppercase letter but we want the lowercase version of that letter. And when we're talking about a letter appearing more than once, the doc string is telling us that we want to be case insensitive, meaning we don't care about the distinction between upper and lower case letters. Lastly, the doc string tells us that if the string S has no such letter, that is to say no repeated letter, then we want to return the empty string. So you see that the output of this function is always going to be a string. It's either going to be the empty string or it's going to be a single letter. Now this is a non-trivial statement to understand, but hopefully the doc test helps us understand what is expected. So here the string is high starting with a capital H and ending with a lowercase h. And since the first repeated letter or indeed the only repeated letter is h and remember we don't care about the distinction between uppercase h and lowercase h and we want to return the lowercase version of this repeated letter therefore the expected answer is little h. Now you know how we try these refute problems. We take a look at the code, but we are told that the code is buggy. So even though the code looks correct, your task is to try and find a failing input. So let's just try the given input. Let us say we give it the string h i g h. And of course, according to the doc test, we know that the expected answer is little h. Let us suppose we think that this function fails to find this repeated letter. When it fails to find this repeated letter, how does the code work? Well, it appears to be using pattern 1. We are trying all indices i and if we find a repeated letter at index i, that is what this condition is saying, then we want to return that letter at index i but its lower case version. So you see this is iterate until success. Now what is the success condition? It says if this ith letter is repeated, meaning if it is in the slice of the string starting at index 0 up to but not including index i, but the lowercase version of that. Why? Because we want to be case insensitive. So if this letter appears previously ignoring case, that's what this condition is trying to check. If so, we want to return this letter but its lowercase version. And we do this until success. What happens if this if condition on line 12 is never true? Well, in that case, the for loop will finish. We will come to line 14 and we will return the empty string like the doc string told us. But let us suppose we uh, doubt this code and let us say we think that this function actually returns the empty string. It shouldn't. It should return the letter h. And then of course we can click on code check to see. This tells us that first repeated high, the given code, does not return the value empty string. In fact, on this input, the given code is correct. It does return uh, little h. 
in which case the feedback is telling us that on this input, uh, for this input string s, um, the code is actually correct. We have not found a counterexample. So go ahead and see if you can find a counterexample.